What's up? What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here, and I'm excited to have you here tonight. And um, I want to start this webinar off by saying thank you for being here. Um, thank you for investing in yourself. Um, it's always, you know, such a pleasure to see like-minded people all show up at the same time. And, um, you know, it's it's really and truly what separates the winners from the losers long term is those that have consistency and discipline and desire always always outperform those that don't so um thanks for being here and right now you should be able to see our welcome screen so you got the ability still to claim your free shopify store build something that you know others would charge thousands of dollars for um, we have an ai an app that will do it for you and if you haven't done that yet um, you can do this for free and the reason it's done for free is because shopify pays me um, a commission whenever you join shopify through my link and i have ai build the store for you so I no longer have to build it myself or pay one of my team members to build it. Um, and it'll add 20 products on there for you. So it's been working out and um, Shopify is loving it. Um, the, the, the students are loving it. It's been really cool. So, you know, do it while you can. It's at profitph.com slash free store. And then below we have um, our four top recommended vendors for those of you that are new. Um, these are links that are special links next to each one underlined in blue that will take you to those vendors and let you install their app to your Shopify store. And um, yeah, I mean, like it'll just make your life easy. And these are all vetted by me, right? And, and they're ones that... I actively have on my store, like Pillow Profits and Shine On um, are two big ones. Zendrop is massive, massive, massive because it replaces AliExpress, right? CJ Dropshipping has a wider range of products than all of the above, but it's like a higher, it's still in China, but it's still a higher uh, caliber, right, of dropship service. So make sure you check out those links. Now, if you are new to the Profit Power Hour, I want to welcome you. I'm glad that you're here. I hope that the first time that you're here is a, um, you know, amazing enough experience for you to continue coming back each and every week at 9 p.m. EST. Now, um, I'm going to get my camera on. Um, all right. So everybody should be able to see me now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, for the noobs, all right, which isn't a bad thing. We all have to start out um, as new. I want to just uh, take a second to show you very quickly um, some of the important places that you need to um, check out and engage. So number one is all of those links that you see on the screen are all very important. Um, they're the best vendors, in my opinion. I work very closely with them. I know them personally, other than CJ dropshipping. Um, and, you know, I personally use them. So I don't go off and recommend um, vendors that I don't use just because I have, look, I have vendors and dropship companies hit me up all the time and offer to pay me if I'll promote their, their uh, dropship service um to to my uh community because they know that i have millions of people that are on our email list and then in our um, access adrian members area so on and so forth and i just i don't even respond to them i, I just ignore them because commissions are great right like shopify pays me a commission whenever i refer a new store to them and it's phenomenal but i know when i refer somebody to shopify um, they're going to be using the best platform in the world for e-commerce and drop shipping, right? When I refer somebody to Pillow Profits or Shine On or Zendrop, I know that they're getting access to world-class vendors. 
So while I love money, um, my reputation and my character and what's in your best interest, you know, in, in regards to helping you succeed is more important to me than promoting some X factor drop shipping, you know, whatever company that has all these bells and whistles that they email me and DM me about nonstop. So, you know, I say no 99.9% .9 of the time. And it's because if I recommend something to you that's no good or that is gives you bad service or, you know, vendors that don't ship out their uh, products fast enough or have good quality products, it's going to directly affect, you know, your business. It could directly affect your ability to create income. Um, and that's going to come back on me, right? Um, quick example. I had somebody um, in Alice Beach. I'm in Mississippi right now, but I have a home in, in Florida. Recommend a, a car detail service to me. And man, oh man, they have all the bells and whistles. And um, I, they were expensive too. They were not cheap. They, it was like 200. No, wait, no, 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 one 200. It was like 100. No, I think it was $200. It was 230 bucks to, to detail one of my SUVs, to detail it and watch it. I have a guy here in Mississippi that does all of my vehicles for like 150 bucks, like total. I paid him to do it. Okay. They did a great job. They obviously were wearing jewelry while they were washing my car. And when I got inside my vehicle, I noticed about a, you know, four inch scratch in the windshield right in front of the driver's side, um, you know, in, right in front of my view. And I, I scratched on it and I was like, man, my nail's getting caught in this. This is a deep scratch. And y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my post this weekend. I love cars. I'm OCD about my cars. Um, I don't touch the windshield on inside of my cars. And um, I hit them up and they ghosted me and they're not taking responsibility. Ultimately, it's going to cost me three thousand dollars is what was quoted to replace the windshield just because of a scratch um and so you know first thing i did was i called back the guy that recommended it to me these people to me i said yo dude like they screwed my my stuff up like i think you should know i wasn't mad at him but i was like i think you should know about this and it just it just um i'm sure for him like I wasn't mad at him, didn't feel good because it never feels good to recommend a service to people that ends up being bad or negatively impacting that person, right? Now, of course, I'm a, he's a good friend of mine, he's a good dude, how could he have known, yada, 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 it's no big deal. But still, he, you know, is like, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. So I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to come back to me and be like, dude, these people suck. All right. So I'm very, very specific about who I recommend. Um, now, you all have access to your Access Adrian members portal. This is where basically everything that I have and that you have enrolled in is located. It's a lot of stuff in here you may not have. That's okay. Uh, but everybody has the Profit Power Hour. So if you click on this, and then you come over here to webinar replays. It opens up this members area, 2023 trainings. Then um, you're gonna see the replays of our trainings each and every week. And you can come back here and rewatch them. We edit them. Sometimes I take things out of them if I share like personal stats and whatnot. So it's always best to be on here live. But um, like last week, I showed everybody how to start their own uh, custom hat. Uh, collection on their Shopify store. And we went over some really, really interesting data um, around the hat niche. Right now, the hat niche is actually blowing up more than I've ever seen it. Like it's just, it's been pretty wild. And we're seeing that people are, you know, selling hats with no logos on them for 60 bucks. Just a black hat, a white hat, a gray hat, a green hat, no emblem, no nothing. Just like that one right there, $70, my bad. And I bought one. My idiot self went and bought one. I was like, oh, that's clean. I want to buy that. And I bought it. 
And, and, and thing is, I know it's stupid to pay $70 for a solid black hat. I know that I could go into a vendor um, like Pillow Profits and I could create my own hat for 20 bucks. But I just impulsively bought this. I don't want to go create a hat and buy it from my own store. Like I was rather just spend the money and like get it done. You know what I'm saying? And that's how people are. They, they're impulsive and they're lazy and they, they, they want to do less. And, and as a result, they spend more. Right. Um, so you definitely go watch this training. It was a, it was a really solid, um, a really solid training. Okay. Um, and we went over kind of like, what is my checklist for, um, determining hats and if they are, you know, worth advertising right now. And so, um, you know, you'll find the checklist in here, the niches of different things you could put on hats. Um, honestly, like the past couple of weeks, like the trainings I've done like this, like the jigsaw puzzle training, um, and the hat training have been two of the, our, our most praised, uh, trainings that we have done all year. And I'm like, okay, so I get this. I get what I get. What people want right now, they want me to find a product. They want me to show them how to launch the product. They want me to show them how to customize the product. They want me to show them how to target the product. You know, I mean, from A to Z. So, you know, we'll be doing more of that now. Um, in full transparency tonight, um, you might see me close my eyes a little bit. Um, I might look a little flush. Uh, I, I, um donated uh blood today and i donated a lot like it was my first time ever to to donate blood that's what what this is um around my arm and i'm just not feeling it like i mean i'm weak like i'm you know just like i'm lightheaded um I don't feel a hundred percent and they said that's kind of normal after uh you know giving um a lot of blood so um <clears throat> i might keep this a little shorter tonight i'm going to show you all some products and whatnot but i'm just going to be honest with you like i don't feel good like i just um i'm even feeling like it's taking more effort to speak and project i just want to lay down but it's tuesday night and no matter you know, what happens if I, how I feel like I'm committed to being here and showing up here. So, um, here I sit, but I do want to uh, upfront apologize if I seem like not as energetic, a little slow, or I'm closing my eyes. Um, it's just, you know, they said tomorrow, like I should feel good. All right. Um, all right. So moving along here, um, what we're going to do tonight is we are going to um, we're not going to do the hat niche, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, um, everyone are actually, I am going to spy on viral products and show you how to, um, copy pasta, uh, winners to your own store. Okay. Um, so copy pasta slash copy paste, and you're not really copy pasting. It's like a I guess like a figure of speech and kind of just copying it very quickly. Um, and, um, you know, I'm going to do this because it takes a little bit less effort than, you know, like a training like we did last week. And I just want to show you some cool stuff. I want to motivate you. Um, I want to give you something to do this week. Right. And, and each week I'm hoping I, 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 I touch, um, a couple more people and like it, it clicks with them. Um, and they go do something, right? So, okay, <clears throat> before we do that, let's come down here and check out our checklist, okay? So when we're looking for a profitable product or a profitable niche, um, this is kind of like the checklist we typically go through. Now, sometimes we will defer from the checklist, but most of the time, this is the checklist. And um, also you don't have to have all four for the, uh, all four things checked off for this to be a, um, for every product to be worthwhile. Um, if, if three check out, you're good. So 
Google Trends is hitting, Amazon research is good, TikTok viral videos are present, but it's not on Wikipedia, that's okay. If it's on Wikipedia under a list of hobbies uh, and there's good Amazon sales volume, there's no TikTok viral videos, but Google Trends shows that it's um, desirable right now, you're probably good, right? If it hits all four, you know, you've got yourself a solid winner. So typically what we do and what we've been doing and what I've been teaching you how to do is, uh, you know, a lot of you, you come to me and you say, Adrian, what niche should I advertise? And I'm like, there's like, that's such a loaded question because there's so many niches that are crushing it. Like people are killing with hats. People are killing it selling um, iPhone accessories and I, iPad and iWatch accessories. Um, there are people killing it selling uh, water bottles like this. Like this is a company, ASRV, and they just did this uh, water bottle. There we go. And it says only those who risk are free. And I always have this with me. Um, Personally, the saying motivates me uh, because we're all entrepreneurs and being an entrepreneur, deciding to pursue entrepreneurship in itself is a risk. It's stepping outside the box. But once you do that, you got to take more risk. And I can't tell you how many DMs I get um, about this bottle. Everyone wants to buy it. I can't tell you how many DMs I get about my sunglasses and how many people want to buy the shades that I wear. And so there are so many different things that people want, or maybe they see um, an influencer or a celebrity using that uh, they think is cool or, or inspires them or whatever, and they want to get it. Now, I'm not an influencer and I sure as heck ain't a celebrity, right? But um, as an entrepreneur, I have a lot of people that follow me. And so they're watching some of the things they're looking for some of the things that I do on my the day-to-day -day basis, like what office supplies do I use? What kind of computer do I use? What kind of, what's my routine? So on and so forth. And for whatever reason, people just like this bottle. It's just, I don't know what it is, but I get so many DMs about it. Um, but back to my point, uh, list of hobbies is on Wikipedia is a great place for you to to get started, right? Um, like crossword puzzles or cosplay. Oh my gosh, cosplay is huge. Um, you know, pottery, um, you know, uh, Pilates. You got um, things like metalworking. Uh, there, I know a couple of metal sign companies that, that are crushing it. Um, and then you've got, let's just look at a couple more. Um, everyday carry. Um, so, this is a very popular niche in the e-commerce space where people are posting uh, pictures of like their key, their tactical knife, their watch, the glasses, the wallet, the water bottle that they're using for the day. Um, a big niche that entails a couple of different products, right? So like, let's just say we want to dabble in everyday carry niche and we want to grab a couple of products that we can kind of put together that we could sell like the keychain the jump drive the journal yada yada put together a bundle um we can jump over here to uh google trends and just type in everyday carry and i mean look at this interest over time um this is just google trends for those of you that are new it tells us um you know what the interest is in regards to google searches over the last 12 months and it's pretty consistently over the 75 mark. I mean, anything that is over the 50 mark is solid, right? Um, if we go back and we look at, say, the past um, 90 days, the data is going to change. You're going to see it. Da, 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 da. So when you look at short spurts of data, sometimes you, it may be very questionable. So you always kind of want to go back and get the 12-month view, right? And if you want to just see like really how strong long-term the niche is, you can go back and look at five years worth of Google search data. And you're going to see that undoubtedly, this is a strong niche, okay? And so back over here at Wikipedia, we could see the things, the wallet, the glasses, the watch, 
All right, so then if we come back over here to our list, right? Um, we, we got Wikipedia, boom. Google Trends, boom. All right, so research on Amazon sales volume. All right, everyday carry is not necessarily going to pull up. I don't know, we can test it. Uh, it's it's everyday carry is a overall niche. We need to get some items within that niche. So we'll do, you know, spot checking here in a minute. Um, are there TikTok viral videos? All right. So let's see if we could get this. All right. So, um, oh my gosh, my screen has been paused this entire time. Great. And that's my fault too. Mm. It's because I'm tired. Um, I just forgot to hit play on the screen share. I'm so sorry, y'all. I told y'all up front, like I'm feeling bad. Um, okay, it's all right. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna show y'all, all right? Is everything in life doesn't always go smooth, right? Um, mistakes happen. Time gets wasted here and there. You wanna minimize that. But if you freak out about it, then it, it's no good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back and I'm gonna quickly show you all what I did so you can see it and um, it'll get the job done, okay? All right, so sorry about that, but this is why I shouldn't do these live when I'm super tired. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is our list, all right? Wikipedia, Google Trends, Research Amazon Search Volume, and TikTok viral videos, okay? So these are the four things I've been talking about that we're looking for. Um, and then this is Wikipedia. So uh, for those of you that are new, I'm sorry that your first experience I screwed up. Um, I'm sorry about that. But um, so this is the list of hobbies here. Um, if you just go to wikipedia.org, and type in list of hobbies, this will come up. And so uh, earlier I was going around, I was just choosing random ones like um, model building and nail art, um, which is huge, candy making, card games, chatting. Um, and as I was scrolling through uh, one of these, everyday carry came up. So here's the picture that it shows for everyday carry for those of you that, you know, um, are on here that didn't see it while my screen was, was uh, not sharing. So it's, it's pictures like this that show, um, you know, kind of like useful items that people carry every day. It's a big niche and it's a big money niche because people buy multiple items. They want like their everyday carry kit, if you will. All right. So what I did is I went to Google Trends and I typed in everyday carry. And first we looked at um, the last 90 days. And if you look at the last 90 days, you know, it doesn't look strong. It looks quite scary, right? And so I've said, look, don't always just judge things by the last 90 days. I mean, if it's like something that's a viral wave, that's a brand new product, that's a big trend, like uh, the Barbie movie right now is huge. And there's all these products and dresses and, and whatever that are Barbie inspired. So if I were to type in Barbie, we'd probably see this big spike in the last 90 days. Um, but some of the long-term niches, um, you know, they might not look amazing over the last 90 days, but if I go to the last 12 months, you're going to see, boom, this is hot. It's over, you know, 50% the whole time, most of the time 75%. And then if we go back five years, and then you'll see statistically speaking over half a decade, this is only one period of time and that's in August. Um, August and o through October, that it's not above that that 50 to 75 percent threshold. There are some little dips randomly for whatever reason. Um, and then if I were to go back through 2004 through present, um, you're going to see in, in 2009 there's just this big uptrend, and then it holds pretty steady, right? Um, now, speaking of which, just we'll go to it real quick. Um, if I type in Barbie. Let's just see if there's a spike. Yeah, look. So if I look at the last 12 months on Barbie, you're gonna see basically nothing. And then all of the sudden, a massive spike. So that's why, like if I were to go last 90 days, type in Barbie, again, 
you would see this huge spike because that movie just came out. If I were to go um, the last 30 days, you'd see that spike happen here. If I'm going the last um, seven days, you might see a bit of a different graph, right? So the last seven days looks a little sketchy because you're like wave, boom, wave, boom, wave, boom. So that's why it's important to do the 12 month and to see how it looks for the last year, right? Imposed to just the 90 days because um, everything could have a little dip here and there, okay? So yes, this this hits on Google Trends. It hits, um, you know, it, it hits on um, Wikipedia. Now let's see if it hits on TikTok, okay? So we're gonna come over here to TikTok and I'm just gonna type in everyday carry. Okay, now if we're looking at everyday carry on TikTok, you're going to see, um, make sure my screen sharing, I keep worrying, it's going to go off. All right, so you're going to see videos 139,000 views. Um, you're going to see 4.2 million views. Uh, you're going to see 430,000 views. Now, important to note, we can't sell guns or knives on Shopify, and we certainly can't sell them. Well, I think you can sell knives on Shopify. Um, but you can't advertise them on Facebook because they're weapons, right? So we're, we're not trying to sell the knives. We're not trying to sell guns, but you can sell holsters. You can sell pouches. You could sell like that pouch right there. Um, you could sell keychains, right? You could sell um, the wallet thing that the guy just pulled out right there too. Um, and so, yeah, this hits automatically. We could see that there are videos with hundreds of thousands or millions of views um, that really does validate for us, hey, this niche right here is pretty solid. Now, if we come over here to Signal Boost, which is my software, um, it's it's not for sale. I don't know when we'll, we'll release it, but I have a way to research um, Amazon search volume. So, one one uh, strategy that we could use here, because we're not looking, we're, we're looking for multiple items that would be considered EDC everyday carry items, okay? Not just one, because it's 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 the the pack, right? It's like my everyday carry, for example, is going to be my Apple Watch, okay? It's going to be my pill case because I take my pills all throughout the day. It's going to be my water bottle here, and it's going to be um, my wallet that's on the back of my iPhone, right? So my everyday carry, right, uh, would be these things, right? Okay, so that's my ADC. Um, so that said, let's see if we could just type in everyday carry and signal boost and see if, if Amazon will, will bring up specific items. It may or it may not. I've never done this before, okay? Um, we just randomly chose a niche off of Wikipedia, and I'm just simply going to see kind of like what shows up and, and what comes up. Um, and for those of you asking about Signal Boost, again, it's not for sale. Don't know when it's going to be for sale. Um, it'll be released to y'all before you know, the, the public, um, at a big discount and it will not be expensive. Um, it's in beta right now. So like you could see even here when I type this in everyday carry and it's taken a while to get, to get results. So sometimes I have to kind of just hit refresh a couple of times and it'll pull up, uh, more and more results. So right now it looks like it's just simply frozen, but see there's more and more are coming are populating, but it, this is fine, this is fine. Um, it's just taking a second to populate. Uh, let's look at some of the items that are showing up under everyday carry and how, and, and let's see if we could put together um, an everyday carry uh, uh, product bundle that we could sell on Shopify. And by the way, um, if you come over to Facebook, let me see if I saw Facebook pulled up real quick. I should have Facebook ads pulled up in here somewhere, if I recall. Um, if not, I'll see if I'm logged in. There it is. There's Meta. All right. While that, that product list is loading, 
um, what I want to do real quick is just show you that if we were to go, I'm in Facebook ads right now, by the way, we're just partially through where you can, you know, set up a new campaign, yada, yada, to the point where you can set up targeting. So I just wanted to, to notate that under detailed targeting that, um, you know, you could type in everyday carry. I know that there are keywords that pop up for this. Let's see. We can we'll have to play with it a little bit, or I could just use Interest Scout, and that would, if you have Interest Scout, which is our keyword tool, it'll just find it all uh, very quickly. But there are keywords like um, veteran, big into the everyday carry niche. Like, so if you're looking at um, you know, Veteran Health Administration, um, Veterans, Veterans United, um, so on and so forth. There are tons of keywords that uh, hit for the everyday carry niche. So, you know, you might not be able to get everyday carry to come up. Um, it used to be a keyword, but Facebook is constantly uh, removing things. But there are websites that you could type in um, that promote everyday carry items. There are blogs. There are influencers um, that will come up. Um, there are certain keywords, usually in the tactical niche and the gun niche and the, um, you know, uh, political niche a little bit that everyday carry hits for. So it's really easy to target for this niche. Um, but anyways, back over to signal boost. Let's see what kind of items come up and how much money they're generating on Amazon. So we can't do knives, right? They're weapons. So we're not going to be selling these on, uh, we're not going to be advertising these, but I typed in everyday carry and this is just what Amazon brings up. So a hydro flask wide mouth bottle. All right. So this product right here um, clearly is coming up for the everyday carry keyword and it is producing roughly a million dollars a month, a million bucks a month in sales on Amazon. Remember, we pull this all from the Amazon API, so this is revenue over the last 30 days. It also tells you what their margin is, 33 bucks. Um, all right, so part of my everyday carry, all right, I got, especially during the summer, I got my water bottle everywhere I go. Then there is this key smart um, multi-purpose opener. You might could get away, yeah, with, yeah, this should be fine right here. Um, this isn't a knife, right? But it's a, basically a multi-tool, a wrench, Phillips head, flat head, box opener, um, a great tool for like camping, which is another camping and fishing are also great interest to target for everyday carry and hiking. Um, so this tool right here is producing right now from the seller $4,000 a month. All right, small little tool. Now, here's what's important to remember about everyday carry, this niche, which I'm going down a path that, by the way, before when I hit go live, start streaming, um, I didn't know I was going to go over this. I, I have no clue a lot of times what I'm going to do when I hit go live because I don't want this to be a fabricated training where it, everything looks like it goes perfect and, and I just know what to do and know what to look at. Oh, I magically have these products. How the hell are you going to learn it, how to fish if by the time you get on the training, all the fishing is always done for you? Um, I want you to benefit from, you know, watching me figure things out. Now, you're not going to benefit by me not having the screen sharing for the first you know, 20 minutes of the webinar, that was a screw up. But um, running into things that work and don't work, right? And how I decipher that is important for you to learn. And um, with everyday carry, remember people are typically buying a bundle or maybe they're just buying one or two products to add to their current everyday carry bundle. Maybe they're replacing products in their current everyday carry bundle. I don't know, right? But oftentimes this is a niche where people can stack their cart. So you might be selling the flask, but you might also be selling the KeySmart um, tool right here. <clears throat> and then you might be selling these little uh, 
Livin's tactical uh, medical bags. All right, they're doing 14,000 a month. So even though they're not doing a lot of money every month, they're producing additional income for people, right? And if I come over here, um, there's this chest pack here. All right, so check this out. This uh, sports chest bag for men, um, it's water resistant. It's uh, like a running vest with a built-in phone holder. I actually wear something similar to this from ASRV um, when, I, when I run. But this thing is doing $124,000 and it's cool. It looks tactical. It looks like you, when you, I'm not going to lie. When I like put mine on, I'm like, yo, like you look pretty hard right now, dude. Like this, this, uh, you're looking tactical. Um, although I'm harmless. So, you know, it's like, it kind of looks cool and it feels cool and it feels rugged. Um, and that's kind of what the everyday carry niche from, from my understanding um you know looks like right this kind of looks like a bulletproof vest a little bit which is why it feels so tactical um and it's doing $124,000 a month that's three products that are producing thousands to tens of thousands a month that you can advertise as everyday carry then we come down here to this olight it's a rechargeable light easily could find something very similar to this $24,000 a month these multi-tool pens right here and every day get 14,000 bucks. So again, y'all, I'm not, um, this is $8,000 a month right here. Um, this, this, uh, this pen right here, Streetwise, it's a self-defense uh, paint battery charged stun gun pen. Probably can't add, like you can't advertise that on Facebook, but here's the thing. It's doing 45,000 dollars, um, 45 Gs a month, in sales, this look at this. This light right here is doing fifty-two thousand dollars. This light right here, you know, one hundred and sixty-two thousand dollars. Earlier, we were looking at this one. It's only doing twenty-four thousand. That's why you got to look at the different products. Which one's getting the most revenue? That's the one you want to kind of copy pasta, if you will. But back to this pen right here. Um, so Shopify has policies about you know weapons and. Um, so like you always want to be privy to, to the policies of products that you could sell on a Shopify store, but I know for a fact, Facebook would not allow you to advertise a self-defense stun gun pen. Okay. Just nor would TikTok. So even though that this <coughs> product is doing $45,000 a month, um, <clears throat> you can't advertise it on Facebook, but what if this light right here, that's doing $162,000 a month in sales on Amazon was what you were advertising. Your Facebook ad was for this flashlight. And I have sold an immense amount of flashlights. I mean, I'm talking about, that is a, 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 a niche in itself. Okay. People collect tactical lights. What if this was the front runner, the face of your ads? And when they got to your store, they just happened to see this. This wasn't being advertised on Facebook, but it's on your store, right? People are inevitably going to pick it up without breaking Facebook's policy. Um, and then you can see here a whole survival kit is selling, but you know, that's a little overboard for what we're talking about. Um, the Orion belt, 27,000 um, bucks. And if I were to search more for this, more products would come up. But ultimately what the, typing in everyday carry does for us is it gives us ideas of products that would be an everyday carry. So um, for example, if I just come over here And I type in, <clears throat> what's that product? Hydro flask. Let me just type in tactical flask. Now, my software is running a little slow. It's going to take a minute. <clears throat> cool. But now that we have an idea, of some products that are in the everyday carry niche, 
what we can do is research them um, individually. <clears throat> so like, look, right out of the gate, this one's coming up. This is like a really big one. Um, it looks like it's got like a strap on it and it's got a bottle coat. Um, it's got like one of these bungee straps or the compass. This bad boy is doing $397 a month. This one right here is vacuum insulated one that's got, again, the cover is doing $759,000 a month. Look at this one, $44,000 a month. So all of a sudden, right, here's what happened. The key term everyday carry brought up a couple of items enough to to let us um, catch the scent of the trail that that we're you know trying to follow here, and that is products that are good sellers for the everyday carry niche. One of the first products that came up was the flask, right? And so now what we're doing is we're researching flask and we're trying to figure out what type of flask sells better right so like these little ones like this right here the little bit smaller they're 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 doing good but the bigger one up here that's like you know these bigger ones um that seem to have like the big holders and everything they're doing really good so what we're going to try to do is find some of this a gallon one is try to find some of these insulated ones so again we can come over to cj drop shipping or aliexpress and we could type in tactical flask boom here you go now all we got to do is dig a little bit to find ones that are similar to that that we you know we're seeing selling on amazon right um you might not find the exact ones right but you're looking for ones that are similar. So we'll scroll down through here and we'll start to find some like this one right here, similar to one that was doing six figures, right? People seem to really like having the cover, um, the tactical kind of cover um, for the flask, right? We can also go over to CJ drop shipping and we could do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna type in um, tactical flask. Okay, and we're gonna start digging because tactical didn't really bring up like exactly what we were looking for, not as good as AliExpress, and it's bringing up like liquor flask too. Um, one thing we could do is type in like a uh, hydro flask. You just gotta play, right? You just gotta play a little bit sometimes to find what you're looking for. Um, and we can also come over here to signal boost and start looking at what are some of the key words um, that are in here, right? So what are some of the key terms that make these, um, you know, easier to, to search? So insulated water bottle, half gallon, thermo, like the vacuum insulated. Those are going to be some of the key words we want to try to type in. Now, um, so we found some better whatever. Um, so let's do a multi-tool. All right, the next one will be a um, multi-tool. I'm just guessing, that's what I'm supposed to type in. And this will give us an idea once it, it finishes searching, some of these other small key uh, tactical tools, like tactical multi-tools. Like people love the little small keychain tools that kind of like, if they're in a bind and they need a tool real quick, they can pop, you know, one of these open. Look, this is doing 42,000, 23,000. So 40, 82,000, but that's just the Amazon basics kit. So this will probably bring up some stuff like that. So what we're going to do is dig a little bit and try to see, okay, what kind of tools are selling and getting like the higher volume, the pliers that have the, the like kind of Swiss army knife opening stuff to it. $823,000 for this uh, premium replaceable wire cutter kit right here, right? Um, I think we could do a little bit more research though and find like kind of like the uh, keychain uh, tool. Um, oh, it's still performing the search. It's making me wait till that's over. But we find a couple of others, right? And then we come down and maybe we come over to this page and we start looking at 
um, tactical flashlights, right? So if it still lets me, it's got to finish searches. It won't let you do a zillion searches at once. Tactical light. Yeah, it's still searching for the other one. So it's going to make me wait. Uh, but anyways, we can come over here. Multi-tool. Credit card. <clears throat> Boom. Here's some multi-tool kits like we were looking at earlier. All right. Then we type in, what was the one we just did? Um, tactical lights. Okay. Organize these by orders. And boom, you know, you got tons of tactical lights. And we're in a niche, again, y'all, that we know people are very, very interested in. Over the last 12 months, it's at the 75 range, right? We know that there are viral videos on TikTok about um, that particular type of product. So if we're looking at um, TikTok, we can see that these types of things are getting, look, here's some like plier cutter ones. Um, like we just showed you, we're doing, it was doing $800,000 uh, a month. Right, that's some little wire cutters that have all the little tools that pop out. This has had 118,000 views. Right, so we know that this checks all the boxes. So this is a little bit different of a niche than the jigsaw puzzle niche and the hat niche because those are more direct. Find a hat and then find a passion, dogs, you know, um, family. Uh, you know, being a dad, whatever. And you can do some really cool hats or really cool jigsaw puzzles. With the everyday carry niche, which we found on Wikipedia, you're trying to find the best of a couple of different types of products. So the best uh, multi-tool, the best survival kit, the best sunglasses, the best uh, wallet. Like, look at this everyday kit. Like I said, it doesn't have to be just the tactical ones, but like this guy has his Apple wallet, just like I do. It's part of his everyday carry, right? It's gonna have his watch. It's part of his everyday carry. Um, <clears throat> his AirPods with the AirPod cover, part of his everyday carry. His keychain with the multi-tool on it, um, part of his everyday carry, right? So I don't know what just happened and why that scrolled through everything, but um, you know, I mean, it's not always just those things that show up on Amazon. Just remember that I typed in everyday carry to see what would show up under that keyword. And we knew it wasn't gonna pull up everything because it's such a broad key term. Then you can go on uh, TikTok to like everydaycarry.com. So this is a website and they do lots of reviews on like everyday carry tools. So you could see some everyday carry stuff could be a G-Shock watch, right? Then it could be a six bolt action pin. Then it could be this small LED alpha uh, tack light, right? Um, it could be, you know, uh, a wallet thing that goes to the back of your iPhone. So this is a really cool, very popular niche that we legitimately just stumbled upon. Um, you know, one of my team members messaged me earlier and in the in the day and said, Adrian, what are you teaching tonight? And I said, I have no clue none zero and he's like well i'm i'm trying to you know you know organize things because he kind of organizes things for me uh so for like what you're doing for the week and i was like i'll let you know when i'm done you know because oftentimes when you sit down at your desk uh to work right you have no clue what you're about to do you're just about to embark in some re on some research and again that's why i like to do webinars like this where um i'm really just kind of giving it a go and showing you how real entrepreneurs work without this like fake magical feel oh it's just so easy look at these products just i i randomly chose these products that are just magical winners it doesn't work like that right you got to do the work but here's the thing is if you follow the, these four steps right here right then you know that you're going to find products that are are bangers products that are going to slap products that 
um, are working really well, that are worth the risk, right? And as entrepreneurs, we know everything that we do, every every ad that we launch, you know, we're, we're taking a little bit of a risk. We're risking a little bit of advertising money. But um, yeah, this is just how I would do it from scratch. Like just when I hit play on this or stream, I was like, okay, let's see where we were going to go. Actually, to be honest with you, I was going to show you some stuff under this products tab and signal boost. And I was going to move um, from here. I was going to find a product that signal boost showed was uh, viral. Um, I think I was going to start talking about the Arctic pods, which maybe I'll do next week. But um, the vibe was, hey, I love the way everyday carry feels. This is a really cool niche. I stumbled upon it. Let's fill it out, right? That's entrepreneurship right there. So that's it for tonight. Um, thank you all for all the kind words about feeling better. Um, again, I'm not sick. I just, you know, just I gave a lot of blood um, and um, I've never done that before. And it's got me off my game a bit, got me really tired. Um, <clears throat> so again, I apologize about the screw up on the screen share in the beginning. I feel like such an idiot. But it happens. There's nothing I can do because this is like, you know, I can't go back and edit this or anything. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, though. If it's your first time, I hope that you show up next week. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I don't know if the post is still up. Um, the story that I posted, I, I can't remember like how long ago I posted it. But you should definitely follow me and watch my stories. Because, you know, I try my best to, um, you know, give you my thoughts for the day um, and, you know, just kind of give you inspiration, um, motivation for the day. But um, I, I kind of went off on one of my stories because people keep hitting me up, asking me about like my gains in regards to working out and getting shredded. And I'm nowhere near where I think I should be or want to be now. But they're like, what are, what what peptides are you taking? What, you know, supplements are you taking? And I'm like, you know, listen, I, I didn't get to look the way that I currently look um, by taking creatine or, you know, injecting a peptide in my body, which most of those are for longevity. <clears throat> I got here because I wake up every morning. I work my ass off in the gym, no matter how I feel, I go to the gym, rain, heat, freezing cold. If I'm feeling bad, if I'm feeling weak, if I didn't get a lot of sleep, I go walk two freaking miles every day in the hot sun. It's 120 degree heat index in Mississippi and Florida. And then I eat right. Okay. That that's how I look. I went from looking the way I did to looking the way that I currently do. And I'm still not anywhere near where I want to be. And entrepreneurship and success is the same way. You know, there's no magic pill that you can take to be successful. You have to put in the work. And so if I come back over here, I look at this stuff and it's kind of like, you know, um, this research here is like waking up and, and, and working out, walking two miles, making sure that I eat um, every day, making sure I do get the right amount of nutrients and vitamins um, in my body or, or, you know, step four could be getting the right amount of sleep because without sleep, you're, you're just garbage the next day. Right. So there's a, a, a step by step formula for everything, but none of it is a shortcut. All of it requires a little bit of pain to gain. Right. And um, for entrepreneurship, I think these are your four steps in the e-commerce sphere. So that's it for tonight. Um, I actually did go longer than I thought, but I felt bad because I screwed up in the beginning. Um, thanks for bearing with me tonight. Thanks for bearing with the screw up um, in the beginning. Uh, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. I'm sure I will. I'm just feeling really weak, just weak and tired. So um, that said, <clears throat> I'm going to go put some nutrients in my body. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you tackle the everyday carry niche and you get some, uh, su some success from it because it's a cool niche. All right. So I will see you next week, same place, same time, right here on the Profit Power Hour, 9 p.m. EST. I love you all. Thank you so much for investing your time in me. And more so, thank you for investing your time in yourself and being disciplined enough to be here. And be here next week, okay? Good night, y'all.